Hi guys, this is Isa in another tutorial and today I will teach you how to add cute text to your planner pages using the app Vectornator. So as of the making of this video, this app is free, so if you don't have it, I highly recommend you download it. It has some really amazing features and it's great for creating stickers and other items that you can use in your planner. So I'm gonna open this app Vectornator, then I'm gonna tap on where it says new document. And then the size here doesn't really matter, just click on standard screen. And as you can see, a new document was created and I advise you label your document so you don't get confused. So just tap on where it says document and then you can delete this text and enter whatever you want. I'm gonna enter text, click done, then tap on that white document to open it. And here you have a work area with nothing on it. So I'm going to jump right in to add your text. Just click on the text box icon, which is the second to last on the right side of your toolbar, which is located on the left side of the whole screen. So once you have that icon selected, now you can tap and drag across the screen to create a box and remove your finger to leave the box on the screen. Now, as you can see, there is the word text that was created and you're ready to enter your own text. So using this keyboard that you have here, just tap whatever word you want. In this case, I'm going to do Monday. Then tap somewhere else on the screen to bring this keyboard down and get out of this selection. And then if you go to the bottom left corner of the screen, you see you have a, a gray circle and that's actually the color that is currently selected for this word. So if I tap there, I get this new window full of colors where I can pick a different color and I can use this color wheel to select a color. Okay, so for example, if I'm looking for a blue color, I'm gonna move this dot around the wheel until I get to the blue color. And then the dot on the right side on this like color window where you have black at the bottom and you have white at the top, then here, this is gonna allow me to select a more specific shade of blue. Okay, if I go all the way to the corner, this is going to be black. If I go all the way up, this is going to be white. And I can keep looking for a color that I want using both of these dots. So I'm just tapping on the dot and dragging with my finger, okay? So once you have a color that works for you, tap again somewhere else on the screen to get out of that window. And again on the bottom left side of the screen where you have this T icon, click there. And this is going to open your text options. So at the top of this window, you have an example of the font that you've used in some Latin words. And then you have the name of the font. In this case, this is Marcadores. Then you have the version of that font. In this case, this is the only version available, but sometimes you may have bold or thin, etc. And if you keep going down, you have the size. So you can move this slider left or right to make the word smaller or bigger. And at the bottom, you have the alignment. If you only have one word, this doesn't really matter. But if you have several phrases or like a paragraph, this is going to change the alignment of the paragraph. So I'm going to tap on where it says the name of the font to see a selection of all of the fonts available on my iPad. Now, if you have a brand new font that you bought somewhere or you just downloaded from the internet and you're not sure how to install it, I'm gonna leave a link down below with a video showing you how to do that. Then choose the font that you want. You can click on the fonts and see what they look like. And once that you found one that you like, go back, click on font, and then here you can change the size to make the text fit on the box. Or you can also get out of this window by tapping on the screen, select your second arrow. So the top left corner of the screen, you have a first arrow and then you have a second arrow. And with the second arrow, when you have these green dots, just drag one of the dots to the side and that will adjust your box to your word. If you use the first arrow and you try to resize, this, what's happening here is that this is turned into an image, so it gets modified as any other image. So you can make it skinnier and taller, or you can make it wider and shorter, okay? But I don't want to modify the shape of my text, I just want to make the box fit my text. 
This is also helpful having a smaller box so that when you copy these and paste it onto your planner, this little bit on the right is not going to be bothering you because even though you can't see anything, it's going to be like a transparent chunk of sticker and it might get in your way when trying to move it around on your planner and you're not even going to be able to see what you are doing. So just try to keep this box as tight as you can without making it too small so that the word splits in two. Perfect. So then having this word selected, click on the left side here, it says edit, tap there, then click on copy, then open your planner. This is the exact same method whether you're using Notability or GoodNotes. I'm going to show you first with GoodNotes. So open GoodNotes, find the page where you want to place this, tap and hold, click on paste, and there you go. This is your very own text sticker. So with this green dot, if you drag it around, you can rotate this word and with the other blue dots, you can resize, make it smaller or make it bigger. Then to reposition, just tap and drag the word to whatever you need it. Done. And that is how you add text to your planner. Now, if you're using Notability, the process is exactly the same. You just find the page of your planner where you want to use this word, tap and hold, click on paste. And there you have your text sticker. Dragging these corners in and out will make the words smaller or bigger. One thing I don't like about Notability is that there's a limit. I don't seem to be able to make this smaller and I don't like that. In GoodNotes you can really edit the text as much as you want or the sticker but it works pretty much the same way. Now this is transparent, so whatever you place it, it will not have a white background or anything. You could copy it and paste it on another page as well, okay? So that's it guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to create text stickers to use in your planner and this is the way that you can add any font that you want into your planner because sadly both GoodNotes and Notability do not allow the use of installed phones at the moment, hopefully they will in the future. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up to let me know, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notifications to not miss on any videos that I upload. So if you have any questions at all just drop me a comment and I will get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you so much for watching and See you next time. Bye-bye.